Hello Discovery family, good morning. This is me before I've made any attempt to freshen up. I've just come from a two hour session in the gym, working biceps, shoulder and triceps. And I haven't freshened up, I haven't done anything. And I recently changed gyms on Monday actually. And I'm now at Total Fitness at Long Cheng Plaza. So today I'm gonna be giving you an undercover tour of Long Cheng. So my friends, please subscribe and enjoy the tour. Guys, I'm actually holding my juice bottle and my phone so that it doesn't look like I'm actually recording. But I am recording and it's amazing. Um, I just love the ingenuity that uh, being a YouTuber gives you. I never used to think of this stuff until I got recording, until I got stopped recording so many times. So that hum that you hear is the hum of generators because they are rolling blackouts um, in Zimbabwe. They've been rolling blackouts for over a week now. So the blackouts are for at least 18 hours. Um, so all the shops that can afford it, all the businesses that can afford it, they all have um, uh, 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 um, they all have generators. And as you can see, it's a lot of boutique shops, um, some big brands obviously, like before and the like, and some big pharmacies. Um, this is Black Things African Wear. Uh, pretty nice. I like the African authenticity here. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, this is, I guess, the busier side of Longcheng. And I'm just gonna go back uh, to this side. And just record. Yeah, I just picked my phone up there to make sure I was still recording. And we're still in the good, actually. There's a lot of hair salons and those kinds of things here. And there's net one. That's the government-owned um, uh, telecommunications company. Uh, so I think there's the PTC, net one, and Telesel. Okay. I'm not gonna go in there because I don't need anything in there. And then World Remit to obviously send your money. And B Forward, the big one. You can actually buy your cars from Japan over there and they will help you import the car, pay your duties, and all of that. And I guess this is the uh, main section. So on the left is a Chinese grocery store, or I don't know, Mega Mart or shopping, I don't know, shop. And it's dead because they sell Chinese products. So they actually killed the viability of this place because they are selling to the wrong market. So I think it's Horizon Ivato. I think it's, uh, it's Chinese and from what I've heard, they actually killed it. So, um, because they opened the biggest store here and their products don't really have a market. So a lot of Chinese shops have actually closed here. And, and as you can see, it's a ghost town. Now, and empty shelves, etc, etc. Complete ghost town. Now, look to the right and you'll see Bola Hardware and this is one of the biggest Bola Hardware stores um, in the country and they have a lot of things in here and as you can see it's dead but not quite as dead as the other shop and these are motorcycles one that they can get on one $1,607 eh? not too shabby for you And this is Choppies. I don't know if all of them are owned by the vice, by the former vice president uh, Pekele Zomboko, but uh, this is it. I used to own most of them. So I'm walking away from there before we get cold or stopped, and then I'm going to the other side. So yeah, this is actually quite ingenious. You would think I'm drinking juice, water, actually. And here I am misbehaving and taking undercover YouTube videos. Oh man, I'm gonna enjoy editing this one. And thank you guys for the last, um, for the 
tremendous show of support in my last video i mean in less than 24 hours i had 1100 views on one of my shorts i mean i'm like dang son i've hit the big time <laughs> yeah and my other friend was saying from church she was actually saying that um you know in zimbabwe having you know 319 subscribers is a flex i'm like not really you know not really it is but come on just 320 when i hit a thousand and i'm actually getting paid for my efforts then yeah that would be more of a flex but not just yet not just yet okay these are the trash collectors i suppose and let's see this section this is where i get some of my printing done at lanceria internet cafe Hi. And it's more or less the same thing. Uh, what I do like is that they actually have a lot of menswear this side. Because menswear is in short supply in this country. And here's chicken slice. Owned by the Muscafere um, family. Oh, lingerie. Wow. <laughs> Not going in there. Should we eat something today? And then, this is Africa bit. So when there's no power on the weekends, this is where I come to watch football games because it's not drinking in there. It's just guys who want to watch football. Some of them want a bit, but I just go up there to watch football. It'll be loud, it'll be raucous. It'll be what? Raucous or whatever you say. Um, but yeah, that's where I, I, I watch my football. Yeah, and it's a blast day. And then there is the uh, amusement park that they built but it's poorly maintained and I have no interest in going there. Yeah, so I think over the years I've just let it get run down and get dilapidated. And this is like the boutique setup that they have. Um, and it's okay, you know. Yeah. They need to repaint the place, remarket it, you know, and actually put things that Zimbabweans want to actually buy you know i think in some of the big shops then they'll get their popularity back hey and look at this like this is zb bank and look at that generator bro yo showing you that hey we uh, yeah we we ain't experiencing any load shedding yeah so this is it and then the, of course in front of us is casino marina I do not recommend anyone going to a casino because they're gonna lose your money. Definitely, you will lose your money, and the house always wins. And so, if you want, if you don't want to lose your money, then don't go to the casino. And guys, let me go back. So, Longcheng is pretty big. It's got a lot of boutique shops, and I think they do make a killing, but not as much as they did in the first days. Um, they've lost some of their glamour, like a lot of shops in Zimbabwe not quite like Westgate but then they are much younger but they need to re-maintain they need to maintain this place you know um, invest maybe six months worth of profits back into this place or so half of their monthly profits every monthly back into maintenance and then if they do that they will regain uh, some of their luster again and it will be a cool place to come so this is actually what we want to build, not quite like this, something more commercially viable, but this is what we actually want to do at our place. Um, we want to build a commercial center, not just a mall, but a commercial center. Yeah, and it will resemble um, Longcheng in some aspects because the town planning for commercial centers and business parks along the road has to be more or less the same, like a big parking spot space, road that cuts right through etc 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 yeah so yeah guys that's more or less long chain it's not gonna be any different um i hope this phone has been recording because i can't really look at it but yeah i've actually enjoyed this tour and i hope you guys do like this tour as well um so please subscribe let's get another 80 subscribers to reach 400 guys before the end of march Let's reach for 50 before the end of March, guys, because I'm going to be uploading quite a bit. So God bless y'all, and see you soon. Bye-bye.